another Tales of Middle Earth Battle Company. I'm Blackfire Productions Taylor, and this is our I friend am Andrew. I'm Andrew. Yeah, he is Andrew. Um, and actually, you just came off of a pretty successful tournament run. I did. At the King's Hall Tournament in Kingston. In Toronto, Ontario. It was, it was in Toronto? Yeah. It wasn't in Kingston? Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. And what did you win? Second place and Best Painted. So, so pretty happy about that. I think he's wearing the shirt that he got from Yeah, I got this so. cool Hobbit slash Lord of the Rings shirt. Very nice, very nice. Was it a good tournament? Good it tournament? was. A lot of fun. Yeah. Cool, little bit different scenarios. Some yeah. good opponents. So yeah. Definitely. Check them out on the OSBGL uh, Facebook page for more information about the next ones. But we're now going to play a hold ground scenario where I am playing goblins, which is odd for me because I've never played them before. You're a good so. player. I'm, I'm typically a good player, but Andrew brought his goblins, so I'm going to try playing those versus your Rangers of the North. My Rangers of the North, old, new, new armor. Uh, old, new armor, <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to do whole ground, so victory point conditions are most people within the six inch center of center, which we've kind of, we'll show you on the board in a little bit. And yeah, so let's go to the armies. Let's do it. So here is my army, well, Andrew's army that I'm borrowing. We've got. Derbers, who's going to be my general for this one, he's right down here. We've got uh, an original goblin shaman here, a uh, converted one that Andrew did back there, and we've got Gorblog over here, and a couple warg marauders, a troll, and no bowmen in this one, so lots of close combat. So here's Andrew's wonderfully painted army, as they always are, and he's going to tell you who he's got. Uh, so we have one warband led by Halbrad. Right over here. Right there. Yeah. Uh, the next warband, led by Erethorn. Uh, both warbands have 12 rangers, 6 with sword, 6 with spear. Then we have 5 rangers of the north. Kicking around the outside there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cool. And who's going to be your captain for this one? Erethorn's my captain. Perfect. Uh, and it's 100% bow. Screw you. <laughs> And here's our table. We're using a model table out of pink star foam with some Moskiliath ruins in the center and some Christmas trees to make it look pretty snowy. My plan for this board is to actually add snow to it at a later date, but I haven't gotten there yet. So now we'll go to first turn. So I'm rolling red dice and orange dice all game, and Andrew Barberzan's going to be rolling blue. So priority three. So he gets to place first. So because we're doing Maelstrom of Battle, we we're going to decide that is north, south, east, and west. And for Barbazan, you're going to roll for which warband first? We're going to take a Ranger of the North. A Ranger of the North. And roll the dice. Four. Out of four. Sorry about the movement, guys. You get to choose a point on the north or south board edge. I'll hide him right in here. Hide him right in there. Next, Ranger. I'm assuming. So, second warband is going to roll. Four, north or south. Going to put him up there. Third guy. What do we got? Another four, four again. Hiding him up there with the other guy. Two more. Six, so you get to put on anywhere within... Anywhere six inches of an edge? Yeah. Because that's your move phase, is these guys are technically moving on. Right. Right. And then last one. Second last one. Second last one. One. He does not arrive this turn. And last ranger of the north. Five, so you get to pick east or west. That's the same? Yeah. So right in behind that tree there. Cool. Now you're going to do your... Do uh, Halbred's Warband. Yep. Roll the dice. One. Does not arrive first turn. And lastly, Aerithorn. What did you get? A six. A six. So you've gotten to place your whole army. We'll come back when we place him. So he placed his Warband kind of here in the southeast corner hiding behind some trees, and now it's my turn to place my guys. So, we're gonna roll for 
Derbers first. What'd I get? A three. And... So, Andrew's put me on this southwest corner as far as he could. A little meanie. For my next one, we'll do regular Shaman. And it's a six, so I get to place him. So I placed him over here on the west edge to hopefully get fury saves on all these guys. This guy is within six of him, so... My next warband is my last shaman, and it's a three. So, Barbazan, where are you placing him? So, being the little meanie that he is, he's decided to put them on the far west edge, way over there. And, sorry, that's the east edge. I'm on the west. And now, rolling for my two marauders, troll, and gorblog. Four, which means I get to put them on north or south. And I put my guys on the north edge over here with one troll, one inch away from that ranger, two marauders going over to those, and Gorbog's just kind of chilling there in the middle, moving his five inches on that he can. So that is the end of first turn, because that is technically the end of first turn. And now we're going to roll for priority for turn two. Oh, well, I'm a four, and he's a three. So I get to go first. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do before I move is cast Fury, which I'm not used to. So we're going to see. This Shaman right here, two up on a three, two dice of his three possible will that he's using, and we need it on a three up. Oh, gets it clearly with both of them. So all these guys over here have Fury. Now that guy way over there, same thing, two dice and a six. So all my goblins have Fury. So. This ranger of the north was a pansy and decided to run away from my goblins and not take them. All my goblins moved up. These guys kind of hunkered in over here to moving be half. moving half so that they could still shoot, but I don't think they can shoot anything. That ranger also kind of ran away from those goblins on the side. My two warg marauders over there have charged two rangers, and my troll over there has charged a ranger, and I forgot to move him. So I'll be moving him five inches towards us, towards center. And now, Andrew can roll for his reinforcements. So we have one Ranger of the North. One Ranger of the North. Two. So I get to pick North or South. So I'm going to put him right behind where the troll came in. Great. But he can't charge this turn. And your last warband there, I think, right? Yeah, Halvrad's warband. Halvrad's warband. There's a two, so I also get to place where he comes in. And, hmm, good question. We might put them in that far corner, six inches in. So, we'll come back after he's placed them to show you that, and then we'll get on to shooting. So, this ranger came on, and he is going to take a shot, so he didn't move. These guys all came on moving three, except for four of them, so they won't get shots. I'm assuming they're going to be shooting at my dudes right there. And yeah, now we're into shooting, and I had priority, so I get to go first, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to shoot both rangers over there with my war warg marauders. Might be silly, but we're going to try it. So, first one, right there, we're going to roll, three plus, do they get it? Looks like I have to look at my paperwork. No? They have a 5 plus shoot, and they move. And they move, so yeah, no ways. <laughs> and then the second one, need that 6, don't get it. Double 5s. Okay. So that's all my shooting. So we'll come back with Barbie's hand. Okay, after talking it through, these two guys can shoot at this one with an in the way by this guy. So rolling for those. Having moved. Snake <laughs> eyes. Nothing. Next over here, the next... Two can't shoot, two can't shoot. These two can shoot at this guy with the in the way by that tree. So rolling there. So we get a six in the way. And the tree passes through. Strength two. Nope. Two, nothing. And then the last guy, there's one guy in here. Which one? One, two, three, four. That guy can shoot clear as day at that guy. A one. one. Doesn't make it. Next bow shot that Barbazan has is this guy right here shooting at Gorbog. 
Uh, he has one point of might. Three. Three. He didn't move. No, he did not. Your defense six. So I need a six. A two. A two. Doesn't get it. Now we're into combats. So, first we're going to do is the troll versus the ranger. We're calling a heroic strike here. Calling a heroic strike. So I'm fight four, and my fight goes up by four. So four. higher fight. Higher fight. Sounds good. Six. Threes. threes. <laughs> so I win, and I am going to choose to hurl him. And I'm going to hurl him right towards that guy. And we've decided that if I can hurl him off the board, just as a little house rule, that he is dead. So we'll see if it happens. So we've measured, it's four inches from the contact point off the board. So I need to roll a two or higher to get him off the board. Not a one. And a six. So he's long gone and off the board. So, whee! And he's into no man's land. And then that guy takes a strength three hit. Yep. So, a one doesn't do anything. Well, I killed one guy. So, next one we're going to do is that fight of the Marauder versus that guy. So I have three attacks. Yes, four for charging. Four for charging. True. One, Take one. that. Take that. Wow. Yeah. So, he pushes me back. Needing a five to wound. Needing a five to wound. Gets a wound. I'll take that. That's one wound on that Warg Marauder. And the next one, four on the charge. There, uh, tied. Take it on fight value. Take it on fight value. Uh-oh. With three. three, so nothing. So I just move back. So that's the end of turn two. Into turn three priority. Tied. I had it last turn, so Andrew gets it this turn, so we'll come back after the moves. So, courage test for a ranger to charge the Marauder. Courage five. So Passes. And the other ranger charging this Marauder. Passes. Is he gonna fit in there? Yeah, I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll let you re decide that, and we'll get back to it. Alright. So instead he's decided to charge the other Marauder there. So, um, now we'll do the rest of the movement and come back. So, end of the move phase. These guys have moved full to get into better position for next turn. These guys did a heroic march with a point of might from the Shaman to get in here. He ran away, still being a pansy. These guys readjusted to get some better shots off at those guys. He has now taken another one and is looking to throw him off the board again. We've got half of my warband over here, going to attack that one little ranger. And I came into a few positions to surround one ranger with a couple support spear supports in there, and then the other one is just a marauder and goblin versus a ranger. So now we'll get into shooting. So, first shot that we're gonna do, this guy into this bunch. Shooting into through into the spearman. Of course you are. So you moved. That was my finger. He hits. Six, he hits. Uh, one, two, three, it'll hit the front guy. Hits the front guy. Six to wound. Sixes, kills one of the front guys. There we go. First casualty. There we go. There we go. Next one, I think you said over here was going to be this pansy that keeps running away. He's going to shoot it. What's his name? Groblog. Groblog. I'm terrible with names, guys. I apologize. So. He moves, so a four. Oh. Gets the four just barely. Uh, six to wound. A five. Five. He'll use his point of might. Okay. And to turn that to a six. How many wounds does that guy have? You've got two wounds and a fate. Well, let's roll the fate. Come on, fate. Don't get it. So he's got one wound down. So he's down to one wound. There we go. And then we have... Two, four, six, eight, ten guys shooting into this bunch over here. So they'll be just shooting in. Uh, this dice here is Halbred. It's okay. golden. He has might. Everyone else is a normal guy. So they didn't move, so needing threes. 
Well, some of them moved, didn't they? Those four. Oh, those four. So two of them moved. Because I did this separate. Oh, I didn't do them separate. Two, oh. four, six, eight. Hold up. So, going to shoot over here, we've got two, four, six, eight, nine guys. Golden one's going to be Halbrad. Articon dice will be Halbrad. Articon. Shooting at the Goblin Swarm. Right over here. And they. Halbrad misses. Halbrad misses. Oof. Oh, there's. A, yeah, give her that too. There you <laughs> go. So, four hits. Four hits. Um, prioritizing Spearmen, but yeah. we'll probably be needing sixes here. So, two dead. We'll take one, the Spearman, and two, the guy with the shield, because you need a six anyway for him. Yeah. And they're just the first two. There we go. That's all of shooting. So now we're into combat. We need two more shots. We lied. That guy comes back. And we have two more shots over here. We almost forgot. So two more shots. You need fours because they moved. One goes off. Needing a six. Doesn't get it. First combat that we're gonna do, we're gonna do this one. He's okay. heroic strike. Heroic strike. So rolling your dice. How much do you go up? Higher than you. Higher than me. So I need to get a six, and I get a six, and you get a three. So I win, and I'm going to hurl you across off the board edge because I love this little house rule. He doesn't, <laughs> no. but I do. Oh, six inches. So he's long gone. He's he's off the board. Weep into no man's land down there. So that's what we've decided. Just for fun, what do I need? Like sixes? Yeah. To wound? Definitely not. Uh-oh. Let's see. There. Yeah, there, that would have done it. I needed threes, right? Yeah. So he would have been killed and off the board anyway. But let's see the fate roll. Failed the fate. Failed the fate. That's what happened for the other one too. We rolled it off camera, so it's kind of funny that they just ended off the board. Now we're on to the war marauders. So first one, we'll do this one, spear guy and the marauder. We'll do the spear guy as a black fire dice. Six. That means you win, I right? Win. Don't even get to roll my dice. So he pushes me back. Where are you putting your wound? Uh, I'm gonna try for the war marauder again. Okay. Needing a five. Two, doesn't do it. So on the next one here, we've got my three attacks, plus a spear support, plus two other goblins, and a shaman spear support. So that means I need four, five, six, seven, eight? Seven. Shaman only have one attack? Yeah. He has might though. He has might. So we'll do the shaman as this nice, excuse me there, Gandalf dice. So he can bite it. I think I'll be fine. Two. Oh, I think I'm fine. I got a six right there. So we're good to go. Two sixes. So you're trapped. So I get these times double. What do I need to get? Ward Marauder needs fives. Everyone else needs also fives. There's a six. So I'll take my, you get double attacks. There's a six and double attacks. See if it's worth him taking his fate. There's two wounds. Two wounds. each roll, so he's dead. So he is dead. Goodbye, Ranger. Priority turn four. Four versus the Articon six. So Barbazan gets to go first. So, last bit of my movement. These six guys are going to try and climb up that wall. So, first one. Four, he makes it just to the top. Uh-oh, might run out of room here. Well, that becomes a five, still just makes it to the top. Four again, just makes it to the top. We'll say he can fit up there. This guy, can he get over there to, to do it? Oh yeah, he can just get there to, this guy can just get there to the top. Because I did a four, so you just land there. So these other three guys are just gonna move in. I did, I called a heroic march with... Derbers. Derbers, thank you. <clears throat> I'm still used to the, getting used to the names. So my goblins have swarmed all in here. These guys have moved up, half. 
Um, I've left that ranger over there with two guys attacking him. The rest of the guys are kind of charging in, including my troll. I still haven't decided what to do with this guy yet. I think I might just leave him there. He's probably going to die. But we'll stay there. And these guys have all moved in to take place underneath the wooden structure. Maybe I can burn it down. Oh wait, that's not in this game. Less fun. So now we'll get on to shooting. So first we're going to deal with this cluster of guys. Shooting for, there's two guys inside of the gate, three here and three here. We've already talked it through. So first we're going to do is these five guys. Well, if you want to split it up even smaller, you can. But five guys at two guys in the gate. Halbrad's one of those. Yeah, Halbrad's one of those. And they're in, one's in behind the other guy. So if you just shoot for all the dude in the back. So we're done. Yeah. They all moved. Yep. So needing fours. And fours. So we got two, four, two. Halbrad doesn't get it. So in the way for the first guy. One through, one not. So let's do the light blue on the dude first. He's got a shield, so needs six. Nope. Doesn't do anything. And the guy that's through doesn't have a shield, but still needs a six. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. So that's satisfied, done. So then we've got these four right here are going to shoot at those three guys right there. Look at this. It even shows up on camera. Nice little um, from the army painter. It's called a target lock. I don't know if it has much use for SPG, but it's kind of fun. So four guys. Four shots. Four shots, I'll move. So fours. We got one. One hit. One hit. Move that dice out of the way. There we go. And nothing. So then another four shots into this, those same guys. Two hit. And even sixes. Nothing. Nothing. Boorns. So next two are going to be... Oh, let's put that in the right way. That ranger for Derbers. I mean, Gorb. How do I say? Groblog. Groblog. There we go. And this ranger as well. This one has a four up because of that little piece of uh, train right there. So if you want to roll right in the middle there. He also has might, so he'll be the gold dice. Yeah, so we'll be right there. Gold dice. Both miss. Both miss. So first we're going to do those four guys right there are all going to shirt at Derbers right there. So. Right. Move, needing fours. Needing fours. Got one. Clear shot. Nothing. Next two are going to be right here, shooting at him, but they've got an in the way from that goblin that you can see. So two. One. In the way. Passes it through, and nothing. And last but not least, we have a um, couple guys right in there. We said that that guy on the left can shoot this guy right here at the top. So let's just do that one first. Just one. This here? No. Got, yeah, that. there we go. Yeah, that one. Two. Doesn't do anything. So then the other two that are shooting for guys at the ground. The shiny one will be Aerithorn. Both sixes. Nothing. Nothing. So these two guys moved. They're going to shoot at him. Four shots, needing sixes, and nothing. So, they did a whole lot of nothing. So that's the end of the shooting for this turn. So we'll come into combats. So, last combat. Well, only combat. My two spear support guys on one ranger. Ranger wins, pushes me back. Strength four. That will not do it. Nothing. So, end of, I think that was turn four, maybe, might be five, I don't remember at this point. End of the turn of movement, because that's all that happened. Rolling for priority, six versus the five, so I get to go first. So, almost done my movement. My guys are just kind of clustered in the center, ready to get pin cushioned by arrows, but I didn't want to burn the might to make them move faster. So, three rolls here, gets to the bottom, gets to the bottom, and gets to the bottom. So these guys are just going to come down and each climb down and land underneath there because that's how far they would be able to climb. And that's it. So my movement's done, so now under Barbazans. Well, everybody's starting to kind of come into center here. Well, except for those rangers, they just repositioned pansies. We've swarmed that ranger. I don't think he's getting out of there alive. This one's also finally been cornered. They're coming in 
from a flank, so that should be interesting. And that little one ranger over there is still going to be buggered off by two goblins, so we'll see what happens there. So now we're on to shooting. So, I move first, but I can't shoot. So, Andrew, who do we have? Okay, we're going to do that one right in there, because I want to. And I really want him to die. Wow, double ones there, Taylor. Nope, nice. push him back. And do you kill one? You kill one. Yeah, just take, figure out which one. There we go. Next combat we'll do over here. We've got Gorblog with his two attacks and two other dudes. So we'll use the Mordor dice as Gorblog. And Ooh. fours for me, so I win. Push you back, and we're gonna move it over here so I'm not stretching out. And uh, no. three fours, nothing. Dang, why aren't you a six? Because you're GW dice. And that leaves us with this one guy right here, which we'll come back to. So first he's gonna roll to see if he wins a six. Five, does not get it. I do have a point of might though. No, I don't. No, he used his. I used it. Yeah, to kill somebody, I think. To do wound on girl yeah. bug. So, do I nice. pass it? I don't. Wow, that sucked. So you push me back. <laughs> this wound is going to go on to this marauder. That already has one wound? Yeah. Needing a six or a five? Nothing. The important priority. Well, everyone's. And I lose it. There you go. Barbazan, it's yours. Move away. So, that Gundor, not Gondorian Ranger, Derp. Ranger of the North, there we go, is going to climb and roll a one. Darn it. Four. So he gets up there and lives for another day until he gets surrounded and attacked by all sides. So, we'll go back to the rest of the movement later. Okay, over here. We've gotten a couple combats under there, which are kind of hard to see. Still some guys unoccupied. Back there, there's some more combats. A couple goblins here have gone in to block the door. We've got a couple of heavy combats in there. Troll is on one guy. Whoop, let's actually focus on where we're focusing. Troll is on one guy there. Then we've got Gorblog and a Warg Marauder on one. These guys aren't engaged. They're still engaged over there. That's going to be a fight to the death. And we've got three dudes fighting the one dude there on an elevated position with a shaman there to support. And yeah, so shooting is next. So we'll come back to that once we've decided. So first little combat that we're going to do is this guy at an elevated position. So it's three individual combats. Each one is a regular dude in spear support. Five, so you win on the first one. Let's see if you kill him. One, you don't kill him. Second, five versus the three, so I win. Needing sixes uh, or something five. like that. Fours, no, no, fours won't do it. Okay, last one. Three highest, <laughs> four. So you win, and four, don't do anything. So that was very uneventful. My dudes do move back all an inch, but we'll get that in a second. Next is in here, let's zoom in a little bit. I've got my Marauder on the charge, so that's four, plus a spear support, plus another dude, plus another spear support. So I've got seven versus your two. And I get a two. And I get a three. A couple four. fours. They're hard to see on the camera. Hopefully they're not hard to see on the battle report. And he's not pinned. No, I can move back. No. And do I do it? Uh, yes. Five highest. So I kill the first guy there. Waha. More death and destruction. So he's out and that guy should move back an inch. Yeah, we'll do that after. Yeah, we'll do that after. Now in the next one, it's two on two. two, on two. Five highest for me, so I take it. Push you back and six. There you go. There's the kill. Goblins are doing some damage. And then the last combat over here is again 2v2. Two of my guys versus two of y'alls. There's the six with your with a six, so you win. You take her higher on the fight value. 
but nope. doesn't kill me. So I'll move him back. Yeah, that's it. There's there's that dead, well, not dead pile. Knocked down pile. And yeah, so on to priority. Six for me, so I'll take it. So, Andrew's called a heroic with Halbrad, and I've countered with Groblog. So I'm gonna roll a dice. On a one, two, three, it's me. On a four, five, six, it's him. So four, five, six, Halbrad gets to move first. So we'll do that and then come back. So, a couple courage tests back in here. We've chosen that that guy was out of the heroic um, the move. So, first guy right here. Seven, Good. passes. So he'll come in and swing around here. Why didn't you move that guy up? He's gonna take courage test. Oh, okay. For the Ward Marauder. Gotcha. So this guy here. Yep. Seven plus four. Makes it into the Warg Marauder. This model here. Yep. Uh, this guy here. Sounds good. No. Fails. This guy will come in for your support. Sounds good. That's my heroic move finished. Cool. And give me a sec. So, this guy right here is going to try his courage test to see if he can charge the troll. Passes. Good to go. So, just in behind right like that. Are you good with that? Yep. Cool. Now we're into shooting. I shoot first. So my marauders are going to shoot. They're two right here into that one because it's just 1v1. Two. Oh, threes. Nothing. The other one down there might as well. Nothing. Needed sixes. So that's it for shooting for me. So right here, we got one shot into the spear support back there. He moved. Two yes. doesn't do anything. Under combat. So first that we're gonna do is this guy who's in his elevated position again. So two dice versus one. Good. Everybody gets ones. I win it on a fight on a one. You win it on a fight on a one. Five doesn't do anything. Strength. They are strength. Four versus defense of a goblin, which is five. Yep. Fives. So, so it does do. do do him is he's out he's of fury? this is the guy who's out of fury range. I planned it perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Ones again for me. I'm changing my dice. You get a six. Four. Cool. No good. No good. Last one. Four highest. Two. I win that one. So now I need sixes. Don't do it. Very well. So all my dice versus his one. See if you roll the six. You don't, you roll a five. I roll sixes, a bunch of them. So I'm knocked down. So you're knocked down, double strikes. There's no fives. Strength, the Warg Marauder strength four. Strength four? And I'm defense four. So that's not four so, right? Yeah. Oh, it is. So, and that's where the four existed. So he's dead. We'll get him after. We'll get him after. Next one is two of mine versus one of yours. Fives, but you win. Needing a five? No. No, nothing. Next one over there. What have you done? Three guys onto my one? I got Aerothorn and I got a spear support. Okay. I'm gonna shield. Okay. Five. Five. Ty, you win. Six is there he's dead. Okay, let's move Fury. on to the next one. Fury. Oh, Fury safe, true. You got uh, two, three wounds. Three wounds, so three, so roll one and five up. He's dead. He's dead. Cool. Next one over, two versus two. Four highest. You take it? I take it. Do I get the sixes? Nope. And the next one is four versus one. It's right over there. If you've lost track, that's where we're at. Way over there. Four versus one. And I get a one, so you win. Needing fives. Alright, well, let's take him. Fury? Question mark? Let's do a quick measure. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Five plus? He's good. He's good. He survives. First off, we're going to do the troll because I get to pick and I want to hurl him as far as I possibly can. Wow. Take it on a six. Three highest, so you take it on the six. 
Needing, I believe, sixes. The light blue is fainting. One wound? Do one wound. I'll take that. And You're not sure, so you can. No, move I move back there. Sorry, guys. Keep looking around the camera. Next, we'll do the Warg Marauder in this one guy. So I get three there. Five highest. I win. Six. He's dead. Next, over here, we've got Groblog. So my two versus your four. One, two, four. Four highest. Six highest on you, so you get it. He's already done his fate. The light blue will be fainting. Fives. Uh, I'm strength. He's D6. Strength four with Halbred. So you need fives. So it's one wound. And He's three. already dead. Right, he only has one wound. He only has one wound left. So he is now dead. So Halbred does it. Oh, I could have used some might in that one, probably. Oh well, too late now. You sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, totally too late. So I'm going to shield there in the door. Three highest. Five. He still beat me. One. Not a one. <laughs> it's a one. And then in here, which you can't really see, I've got two guys attacked plus the spear support. So That's rolling. Faint for me. Three highest. So you get it on the five. Nothing. Nothing. So, we just took a break to have lunch, and now we're back. So we're very, feeling very full and groggy. I don't know about you, but I am. <laughs> yep. um, so roll for priority. Three and three. Oh god, who had it last time? Uh, you did, because I felt heroic move. You did. So, I mean, I did, so it's your turn. Come back after the move. Okay, some courage tests. So who's going to try and charge my warp marauder right there? This guy right here? That guy, right, that guy right there. He's gonna make it. No! He, is he doesn't make it, so he stays there. And up here, who's gonna charge who? We have this guy here going in on the troll. Yep. Five. five. Basic troop normally not. They normally need a six. Three, five. Yeah, nope. It's an eight, nope. This guy's gonna swing around, try and get in. He makes it. He makes it. And if you do that right, spear support. He's not a spear, though. Oh, he's not a spear? No. That's depressing. <clears throat> Halbred? No. This spearman here is going to try and get in. Okay. No, the swordman. Swordman? Six plus three, no. No. Nope. Alright, Halbred, courage, six, I think. Yeah. yeah he he makes it. it. And then he'll get a spear support here. And then this one last guy, right swordsman there? Swordsman there. Four, five, six, seven plus three. Makes it just barely. And a spear support. Spear support. Cool. And that's all my move. Now onto my movement. So the end of the movement. And I believe we've tied up everybody for shooting too. Oh, except for that one dude right there, but they're all engaged. Well, spear support. So you can take one spear support right there. What we're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it. Five plus. Three plus. Doesn't three plus? Oh true. <laughs> He tried to, failed. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I was just saying, he tried to move. Five plus. Two on defense, four. Two on defense, four is a five. We're doing. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Now, I'm going to take my Warg Marauder here with two into Halbert. Need to do anything. Over here, this one. Nothing. Man, Warg Marauder shooting doesn't work very well, does it? Not very well. No. Fair enough. And combats. So we're going to start with this combat right here. 1v1. 6. 2. Darn it. Didn't kill. Well, now, first one, 2v1. Right there. Got a 4 versus your 5, so you win. 4 doesn't do anything. Nope. Nope. Next one. Five, five, six. Six. six, six, kill him. Um, he is out of fury. Yes, because I moved him over a bit to act as spear support. Boards. Last one. No, that was it. One more? No, I, we already did that. Oh, okay. I lost the first one. Great. 
And then next fight, <coughs> right here, is I've got four in the Marauder, and then four other dudes, all spears, well, spears or spear supporting. So the Gandalf dice is the um, Shaman. I don't know if that no, matters. It won't matter. Won't matter, cool. And the red dice, OSBGL dice, are the Marauders, because they're strength four. Oh, there's a six. Six, so I gotta get a six here. I get a six, and you don't. I don't, and I'm... Mm -hmm. mm. Use my last two points of might to turn it to a six with that error of thorn. Are you going to? Yeah, because I get knocked down. I don't want to get knocked down. Fair enough. So we roll off. One, two, three, me. Four, five, six, you. I have hard fight. Oh, do you? Yes, you do. Five, five. You're five, three. Darn it. So I lose. So? So I will be striking the... Uh, but Marauder. Okay. So needing... We'll see. One, one wound on the Marauder. One wound on the Marauder. Cool. So that Marauder now has one wound. And that's that portion of fighting. We have one. Next, we have a little one on one in here. So. You win? I'll take it. And four. He is fine. He's fine. So, next one over here, we've got four versus two. I got a four. Ending with the four. You get a six. Sizz. Six. Six sizz. And, and six. We'll and so that means he's dead. And now we've got one versus two right there. You get it. Painting with the light. And you get three. Him. Yep, you got it. Gobos are going down. Going down. So first one we're gonna write do is two v one. I got a six. Three. And I'm gonna roll over here just to make it easier. A five. That will do it. That will do it. Then the next one in here, which you can't really see because it's so dark. Let's see if that will brighten up. Nope. There's two of his guys versus three guys in base contact and two spear supports. So two, four, five for me, and two for you. You got the six. You auto win, right? You win it, yep. So we'll roll. Fives? Nothing. Nothing. So we push you back. Push me back. So first off, we've got the Warg Marauder versus Halbrad. So my three dice. Four highest. You win. Five. Five. Halbrad will faint. Fainting. Uh, Does the five do it? Strength three. three on defense five. Three on five is fives. So it's, it's two wounds. Halbrad yep. will use a point of might to kill him. His last point. Oh, he has three wounds. Correct. So. Yep. I am out of might, and you are also uh, out of might. Yes, well, because somebody killed all my might. <laughs> and now we're on to the troll right here. Okay. The troll versus, let's see, one, two, three of your dudes. All right, here we go. There's the six. Take it. Now, what would you like to do, Taylor? Oh, God, let me think about that for a sec. So, rolling to see how far you can hurl him. Three plus two is five inches. Three plus three. Three plus three, correct. Three plus three is five inches? Six inches. Six inches, sorry. I told you I was nappy after lunch. And let's see, strength six hit on this guy just to see if he actually, nope. Survives it. He survives it, so he ends up six inches over here, which we already measured because we said that guy was at seven. This guy takes a strength three nope. with a two. Nice and that guy takes a strength three. That will do it. That will do it. And the throne model takes an additional two strength three hits. Because he Correct. two guys. He's good. Double twos means nothing. So, on to priority. You had it last time, so I have it this time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's my so, I've decided we're going to take this guy, hurl him right there at the two, and my one goblin, and he'll stop at the wall. So first, he takes a strength six for being thrown and hitting the wall. And he's dead. He's dead. So there's one guy dead for yours. 
Then the next, your guy takes a strength three. He's fine. On the green jacket guy right there. Two. He's good too. He's good. And my goblin. Three is also fine. So, right now, we're deciding to see if the game continues. Do you want to roll it or do I want to roll it? You have priority. I have priority, so I will roll it on a one or two. The game suddenly ends. And a six, so it continues. So now let's roll for priority. Three. Three. I had it last time, so you have it this time. Jump test for this guy to see if he can scurry around and get into center. One, oh, he no. fails. Fails the jump test. So, I really needed a roll of a one or a two to end the game to win, because now I've completely lost. But we're still going to play this out, because it's going to be great fun. Um, shooting, you don't have any. I have no shooting. I do. I'm going to take my Warg Marauder and shoot his two shots into his combat. Uh, no. They're going to go to this guy right here. Because they can do that. There's the six. And not a six. So yeah, now we're on to combats. So first one we have right here is 2v1. I got the six. Take it. Don't kill him though. Then we've got the 1v1 with the guy up here versus the one down there. One, you get it. And you kill him. Fury. Doesn't save. So he's out. So then we've got my four from the Marauder and one right here versus your one. Four highest, I win. Six, and that will kill him. So I'm officially broken. And then we've got 1v1 right here. Sorry, yes, 1v2. And you get her. But don't kill it. So first off, we've got my two shamans versus... How's his name pronounced again? Arathorn. Arathorn, and a spear support. Five highest. You take it. You take it because you've got no might. And a five. This defense five. Strength Three. on a shaman. Three versus five is fives. So he takes a wound. His, he'll take some fate. And he'll pass. He'll pass the fate. His one fate. And how many wounds did he have? His three wounds. Oops. So then three versus one right here. You take it with the four. Two. Two. Don't do anything. And then we've got two versus one. One versus two right there. My one versus zero two. I get a four. Three. I take it. But a one. No kill. And then last fight that we're going to do in this little bracket, 2v1 right there. I take a two. You take a five. So you do it. And fours. He's fine. He's a shield. He's fine. So, we went into movement on my turn a little fast. Everybody was in fury range except for these guys and the troll. So we're going to check the two courages of them to see if they even stick around. Um, and then if this guy wins, we'll redo that 1v1 fight there. So, courage check on him. Six, seven, He's eight. He's good. So that fight stands. Troll is oh, good. good. And there's this goblin here. Uh, no, you charged him. So yeah, that's that's all we had to do. So we're good. We're in a good spot. Let's. That guy did charge in. Let's see. Would he have passed? No, I would have failed. No biggie. So we'll say he's off. Yeah, he didn't kill anybody. So that's it. Everybody else is within range. Yep. So now we're on to this. Me shielding versus your one right here. You got a four. You got the six. Double hits. Four doesn't do it on the first one. Doesn't do it on the second one. And now we've got the troll. So the troll's three, plus that goblin makes four. Got a five. Oh no. So I do it. Am I gonna try and do anything with him or am I just gonna try and kill him? Yeah, we're just gonna try and kill him. I just wanna get the satisfaction of killing him. 
Six. He's dead. So two wounds. Oh, true. He has two wounds and one fate. So roll one dice. Fail it. You failed it. He's Albrad dead. Albrad goes down. Albrad goes down. Just Look at like that. in the books. So now, the end of the turn, you had priority. I have priority. So one or two, the game will end. Six. Game continues. Right there. So. I got a one. You got a three. So you get to go first. So who's going to do courage um, first? So Let's just go through and do courage, and then we'll do movement after that. So Arathorn, he'll take his stand fast. He has a courage value of five with two will. Three plus five, eight, and he'll use his two will to get the ten, ten. To pass. <laughs> so he gets ten, barely, and who doesn't get in? I would say that guy up on the top, maybe? Um, he's just in, I think. Just in, we'll call it just in. Just in. Everybody else, except for that guy. This guy on the ground. And that, for, except for this guy on the ground, that guy on the ground, and that's it. So we'll do these two courages quickly just to see, and then we'll do movement. Yeah. This poor chap. This poor chap who's on the end, he passes. And the last guy on the his The last feet. guy right there on his feet. He fails. Fails, so he's gone. So now we'll do movement for Andrew. So we've got a little bit of a cluster going on in here at the center. Now we're doing some courage tests on these guys to see if they can charge into the Warg Marauder. So this guy here is going to try. Makes it. Okay. Next. The next model with the sword. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, makes it. So he'll come in. And then spear support. and That's a melee model. Yep, so you could have probably... So we could have moved him before, but he'll just yep. sit in there. Perfect. Is he going to attack the shaman or no? Yeah, if you yeah. can get. Yeah, I'll can say you can. There. I'll say you can fit in there. Then you can fit. Yeah. In. So now my turn to move. My only two unoccupied guys are right here. Courage on a troll. It's three. Three. Fails it. Troll runs. That goblin right there. Fails it. He runs. And then we've got one last little guy hiding right in there. And he fails it, so he runs. You have one last one here. Oh, and I've got one, I guess one more over there, and I am two, four, six, seven. Well, game, I think, passes. Eight, nine, ten, yeah, he does it. <laughs> passes, look at that. So he's just going to go and spear support that guy. Sorry, he's just going to go spear support that guy. So now we're doing some combat, so let's just, might as well do this one right now, I'm just to get her done. I'm shielding. I got a six. You got a four. So I win, so I auto stand up. And then might as well do this one right here, which is, I guess, 1v1 and 1v1. Sure. Sure. So we're going to say one here and one there. So one, three, five, you get it. One, don't do anything. Next one. I get a six. It's happening back there. And you get a six. Oh, I get it with a six. One, though. So I move back. Good game. Good game. Uh, so I lost 10 victory points to Andrew's 15. 15 yeah. I needed to roll a 1 or a 2 two turns before. That first turn. And it would have been mine. The game would have been mine. Yeah, you had it won. Yeah. Your shooting really didn't do much for the game, did it? It didn't do much, except no. I killed Derber's, your general, gave Which me 3 points. Which gave him an extra 3 victory points. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I always try and... Dude, whenever I get to that last little bit, I'm like, just kill my guys, just kill them. Yeah. And then hope for the roll, but it never happens for me. So that's, <laughs> I've got to become more strategic that way. But it was a pretty fun game. It was that long. It was very fun. It was a we, long game. Yeah, we played it kind of slow. Hopefully the battle report doesn't turn out too long, but we'll see. And yeah. uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and also we're on Patreon. Then the I don't even, my brain is freaking up. Patreon, no, it's not going to happen. The link's down below. You can go support us there on a different website. You'll see it. And, uh, yeah. Also, don't forget that uh, Capital City Blood Bash is coming up in Ottawa in August this year. We are doing a big tournament there with the OSBGL. Uh, three days of gaming, so check them out. We'll have their link below as well. And ignite your hobby.